Racing loss, an absolute legend on Friday. Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. Unfortunate news on Friday morning. Racing lost an absolute legend, a dirt racing legend. Scott Bloomquist has unfortunately passed away following a vintage aircraft crash in Tennessee. He was 60 years old. If you're not aware of who Scott Bloomquist was, he was one of a kind. Black sunshine, as they used to call him. The man was an absolute animal. He he was everything that Tim Richmond probably would have been had he have lived longer in life. Scott Bloomquist walked to the beat of his own drummer. And I know a lot of people will say that and they'll be like, oh, you know, so and so is so unique. Scott Bloomquist was one of a kind. That man, Bloomer, was not somebody that was ever going to be replicated. We'll probably never see anybody like him again, and he can go chase all the aliens he wants now. It's unfortunate that Bloomquist goes out this way, uh, but he uh, was an aviation enthusiast, so there's that going for him. But the man was an absolute legend behind the wheel of a dirt late model. He won the World of Outlaws Championship in 2004. He's a three-time Lucas Oil dirt late model champion, eight-time winner of the Dream at Eldora, four-time winner of the World 100. He has 97 Lucas Oil Dirt Late Model wins, 33 World of Outlaw Late Model wins. The guy has won basically every big race there is. Two-time North-South uh, winner down at Florence Speedway in Kentucky. Won the Hillbilly 100, won the Topless 100. He's won just about anything and everything under the sun. He made a start in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. Well, NASCAR Camping World Truck Series race at the time at Eldora Speedway when they used to run the Mud Summer Classic there. He drove for Kyle Busch Motorsports. He elected to run without a front sway bar on the car. That ultimately was not a very good decision for him. He dropped to dead last in the field and finished two laps down. But Bloomquist was still a legend on the dirt track. He had He lived a life. He lived an absolute life. He got arrested for cocaine possession in 1997, said it was his girlfriend's classic cop out there, did six months in jail. The man, <laughs> he did anything and everything that he possibly could. He was involved in a motorcycle wreck. He beat prostate cancer. He got bit by a horse fly that put him into the hospital. He kind of has had his hand into a bit of of everything out there, and he was always one of a kind. He had plenty of energy, he had great sound bites. There is this clip after he won at Eldora that in 2014, which is absolutely legendary. The show was over when they put me to the tail. I would have lapped the field. Kyle Larson even used that clip after he absolutely waxed the field in the 2023 NASCAR All-Star Race at North Wilkesboro, saying, you know, it's a good thing they put me to the back because I would have lapped the whole field. Kyle Larson definitely would have that night, and Scott Bloomquist likely would have that night at Eldora as well. Like I said, it's unfortunate to see him go out this way. Uh, he was still making select starts, being around dirt racing. He's a great ambassador for the sport. And... Like I said, there's never going to be another Scott Bloomquist. I'm not, admittedly, the biggest dirt late model guy. I watch the big events. I don't follow the tour as closely as I do World of Outlaws sprints or high limit sprint series at that. But anything and everything that people have said about Scott Bloomquist just seems to be this legendary status of the guy. It doesn't seem like anybody's ever had a bad interaction with him. It seemed like he was a very personable guy in the pits. I never ran into him. Uh, so it's... It absolutely sucks to see him go out this way. You never want to see wake up to news like this, open up Twitter and see news like this. It's always a unfortunate situation and a shock at that. Scott Bloomquist is not the guy I think anybody expected to see on Friday morning when they opened up social media and saw the news that he had unfortunately passed away. Vintage aircraft, though, they're going to they get you every single time. Be careful out there if you're flying vintage aircraft. Almost got Harrison Ford. Almost got Jack Roush. His might have been experimental. Got Scott Bloomquist. There's just a long line of, and that's what happens, right? It's like driving an old car around. Everybody likes to drive classic cars. I do. I like to. I love driving old muscle cars and old classic cars. There's a solid chance that they might just not turn on one day or turn off or something could break and something goes wrong. Most of the time, you're able to stop on the road. Unfortunately, when you're flying in the air, uh, as most of you know, Gravity is not your friend in that situation. You have to come back down to Earth at some point, and typically it's not in the most opportune position, time, place, um, and situation. So, unfortunate to see Scott Bloomquist uh, pass away at the age of 60, but absolutely legendary career. I mean, this photo right here of this man just it, it exudes Americana at its finest. Got the flow going in the wind, American flag behind him. That's who Scott Bloomquist was a legend in every sense of the word. So like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram and Twitter, as well as Facebook at Break Hard Blog.